Hello everyone, Jacob here once again. I wanted to take a moment and talk to you all about in-text citations. As we have covered over the duration of this course, the expository essay that you are going to be writing must be supported with evidence, with research. When we research topics, the way that we incorporate that research into our writing is through in-text citations. The reference page at the bottom of your paper provides the full reference for our readers, but the in-text citations that we use indicate the specific information, words, or ideas that have come from that research. There are three types of in-text citations that I'm going to be uh, talking to you about, but there are more than just three, so please keep that in mind. Be sure to review the GCU Style Guide found in the Student Success Center. Uh, to access the guide once in the Student Success Center, click on Tools in the top right-hand corner, and then click on Style Guides and Templates in the purple band running through the middle of your browser. This is how you will find that style guide. The style guide will have an explanation as well as exa examples that provide insight into the various methods of in-text citations. Now, back to the three that I'm going to be discussing with you today. We're going to be reviewing direct quote in-text citations, paraphrased in-text citations, and we're going to discuss briefly citing a secondary source. The first in-text in citation I want to talk to you about is direct quote or a direct quote in-text citation. It is all in the name with a direct quote in-text citation as that is the citation that you use when you take text directly from your source and put it into your paper. When citing a direct quote, you must be sure to put the text you are ta taking directly from your source into quotation marks. Then, before you end the sentence with your period, you must put in parentheses the last name of the author or authors, the year of publication, and the page number the text or quote can be found on. If you're using a website, uh, for example, or a resource that does not list a page number, then you would provide the paragraph number instead. The second in-text citation that we'll be covering is the paraphrased in-text citation, and perhaps the most important citation. This citation is where you take text, i.e. an idea, from your research and put it into your own words. Paraphrasing is a great way to engage your reader. It allows you to take a complex passage from your research, condense it using your own words, and ultimately make it easier to digest for your reader. When formatting this citation, you can begin with according to the author's last name, and the year of publication, and then your own words. Or you can simply provide your paraphrase, and before you end your sentence with the period, put the author or author's last name and the year of publication in parentheses. There are several ways you can format in-text citations, and the strategy you use can often be determined by the information that is available in your source. The third in-text citation that we'll be covering is called citing a secondary source. As we have covered in this course, the best sources are peer-reviewed. This means they have been reviewed and deemed accurate, credible, reliable, and objective by authorities on the topic that the resource is exploring. In many instances, part of what makes those articles credible is the fact that the authors have conducted their own research too. So. There may be information that you wish to quote or paraphrase that your resource got from somewhere else. This is why we call this citing a secondary source. While you always cite in text the source that you yourself found, you still want to acknowledge that the information came from elsewhere. To do this, you add the phrase as cited before the author or author's last name within your citation. All right. Thank you all for bearing with me, and I hope this helps take away the intimidation and anxiety that comes with in-text citations. While I hope you found this video helpful, it is not a substitute for the GCU Style Guide. Make sure you read that thoroughly and pay close attention to the examples that they provide. Also, please pay close attention to the additional resources provided in the course materials. Ultimately, mastering in-text citations is about practice and patience. Good night, everyone.